So I had some free time this morning, so I decided to come out to my local park and set up a two element vertical. And this is a uh, parasitic array. Um, I've been using these for a few months now, and I've made a couple videos uh, with Greg, KJ6ER's help. Uh, he's kind of uh, done a bunch of modeling and found the ideal uh, tuning and spacing for the two element array. In fact, he's going to have a PDF coming out soon uh, with all the details. Um, I've got most of them in a video if you search my YouTube channel. But uh, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you exactly how I set this up. So here's the radiating element. It's just a simple POTA performer. I've got it on a PVC mount, uh, two elevated radials. And I tuned this one to 14.1 megahertz. And then I've got the reflector and it's spaced at a quarter wave behind the radiating element. And I tune this with the radials clipped to the ground for 13.7 megahertz. Now, once I have them uh, tuned, I have to short the radials on the parasitic element to the actual element. And um, I, I'll show you a little closer here in a second. Um, basically, that will couple the elements together and actually drop the SWR dip lower in the band. So even though I tune the radiating element to 14.1 megahertz, once I clip the radials to the uh, parasitic element, the SWR dip was perfectly at the bottom of the uh, 20 meter band. The antenna seemed to perform really well. I made uh, quite a few contacts. I think I made 100 contacts, a little over 100 contacts in about two hours and 15 minutes. Now you might be thinking to yourself, is this worth setting up? And that's up to you. Um, you get about three dB over a single quarter wave vertical um, in the direction it's pointing. And it's a very wide cardioid radiation pattern, about 60 degrees wide. So even though it's pointing towards the northeast, I was getting a lot of contacts in California and Florida. Um, so it seemed to work really well. So here's the reflector. It's just on my stake pocket mount on my truck. Um, the parasitic element has to be shorted. And here you can see that I've shorted the um, radials. When I tune this, I'm actually hooking it to the ground. And I tune it with my Nano VNA, and then once I get everything tuned, I hook it to the parasitic element. And I can set this up, in fact, from the time I parked to called CQ, it was uh, a little over eight minutes. So if you're quick at setting them up, it's probably worth it. Um, if it takes you a while to set them up, maybe you uh, might want to reconsider. But if I'm at the park for a few hours, I think it's worth it because I'll make more contacts. Anyway, give it a shot, 73.